Quick drawing of the brachial plexus. The key of the brachial plexus is C7. You want to draw C7 alone. Then C5, C6 alone. And C8, T1 separate. So here is C5, C6 are drawn alone. That will give you the upper trunk. As regard the middle trunk comes from C7, the lower or inferior trunk come from C8 and T1. Now each trunk will divide into anterior and posterior division. So let's start the posterior division of each one of them and let them join each other. That will be the posterior cord of the brachial plexus, which will end by the axillary and radial nerve, and will give you three branches, upper and lower subscapular, and in the middle is the trichodorsal. All right, how about the upper trunk anterior division? Anterior division is here, and you will get the anterior division from the middle trunk to make the lateral cord of the brachial plexus. The lateral cord will end by the muscular cutaneous and the lateral branch of the median nerve, but will give you the lateral pectoral. How about the lower trunk? The anterior division will continue, will continue, I'll give you three branches, the medial pectoral, the lateral cutaneous, and of the arm, and the lateral cut antibrachial cutaneous of the forearm. And you're going to end by the under nerve and the medial branch of the median nerve. This is the median nerve. right here this is the median nerve so basically this is the brachial plexus it's simple and can be easily drawn now there are three branches that are important one the thracodorsal from c5 the other one suprascabular nerve from the upper trunk and the third one is from c5 C6 and C7, this is the long thoracic, and that will come from D3 nerve roots and will make the long thoracic nerve that give you medial winging of the scapula. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.